Hi, my name is Jenia and I will be showing a tutorial for you how you can use Google Hangouts on air to stream your presentations live to connect with all your other people up to 10 people in the same video chat and have it recorded for free on YouTube and it's just an amazing feature. So let's start. When you go to Google, you go to and type, if you type Google Hangout in the search, which happens to be confusing for a lot of people and if you click on this link that comes up first it comes with, up with the page where it says if you click on available on your computer it will say hangouts won't work on your current browser you will need to install google chrome which is not true you can use google hangouts on firefox and safari you just need to click on a different link so let's go and you would need to click on a second link which says google hangouts and then it will you click on air on this button here or you can type uh, google hangouts on air in the search it will come up with this link google.com plus learn more hangouts on air html you go in this button you can click on air over here or start a hangout on air once you start the hangout and again i'm learn i'm teaching you guys about on air you don't have to stream it you, you don't have to broadcast it but that's you you have two different options and i'll show you what the difference is so you set up your hangout on air and then you have to name it so let's just say test and you don't have to add the names right here because when you get the link you can share the link with people to join you so you don't have to know their emails right here if you just know their facebook so we'll go to facebook as well and we'll click start hangouts on air so we're starting the hangouts i need to turn this way to have more lighting um okay let's so it says here preparing broadcast and it goes here on the mid um, percentages here i'm not sure why it does this so and then what we'll do is look at this link over here this is the link that you need to copy and paste to a person that you want to invite so then we send it to Jana. She will join us shortly. And because there's this red button here, it's not broadcasting yet. You need to have a Google account, so Gmail account, in order to be able to start those Hangouts. You need to be logged in into your Google account. So I'm logged in and there's an option to mute your microphone so that people won't be able to hear me what I'm saying then you can turn off the camera and just show your picture and then you can have up to nine people up to ten people joining you and having this conversation will wait for Jenna and you can embed this code and for other people that can't join you in the hangout but they can view it live and they can type in their questions below Here's Jenna joining. Hi, Jenna. Can you hear me? Jenna? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, so we can chat. If you click on chat here, there's a chat window on the right and we can chat her. Yes, I can hear you. The chat window is on the left. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you can hear me, right? No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Okay, so can you see, uh, I'm explaining to other people that when, when I'm talking and then when Jenna is talking, um, it actually works out of voice recognition. So the camera will automatically switch. Or what you can do manually is you can you can choose the window you want to show it to people and when the recording will be done on YouTube video people won't see these two little windows below if it's just two people they will just see this big screen and whoever you point the win the mouse on or whoever speaks at that particular time that will show in the 
in the video. But if you have more than two people, then this little windows will show underneath the window and you will be able to see all the videos in the Hangout. I hope it's not a little bit confusing, but let me explain the features. So you want to grab this embed code like here and then you can share it on Facebook for other people to view. Or this is the HTML code if you have a blog or um, HTML where you want to embed it. So once you don't forget that this is not recording yet, even though we can see each other because we are connected, people who you share this link with, they cannot see you because we haven't started broadcasting. So don't forget because we had great interviews several times and people forgot to click the start broadcast button and nothing was recorded and it was a, a waste of time. We had to redo it. So start broadcast like I'm going to do here and it will give you a message saying your hangout is on air will now be broadcast publicly and on YouTube. So people who may uh, see your video live streaming on uh, YouTube, you might not want to see people, but there's no way for them not to see it. So what you can do is after your broadcast is over, you can go back to YouTube and change the setting to unlisted or private. But while it's still recording, there's no way for it not to be public. So now it says posting in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now it says um, it will start broadcasting. Let's see just a second. So it says now it shows the button says end broadcast. And that the end broadcast button we want to click at the end. We can still stay on Hangout and talk, but the other people won't be able to view it. So I wanted to show you a little bit of features. So again, like we showed chat, you can turn on and off and chat in between over here. Also, you can do a screen share. For example, if I wanted to share a screen um, like this, I can start a screen share and show guys what I see on my, on my screen. For example, if I open a document, hold on, I will open a document. Oops. Uh, like this. Okay. Never mind, I messed up. So anyway, you will be able to see my screen and I will be like moving in here if I have a document. And then to st stop screen share, I can click on stop screen share and you will see my face again. Then what you can do is uh, Google Hangout tool is really cool tool you want to install it because it has the feature uh, of this thir lower third it's called lower third and I can put my name in here and uh, let's turn it on so you will see my name in here even though I see it right now backwards on the video it will be nice and normal you can turn it to switch the color you need to turn it off Click on the color chart, choose the color you want, and then turn it back on. And then you will see a color. You can also you can also select a file which is like a logo or anything like this. You can uh, display it, the clock, and um, oh, here we go. It's a mirror image. But so I use lower thirds if you want people to view your name. So then what we will do, we will turn it off for right now. And this awesome feature where it says view more apps. Google effects, it's kind of when you have a fun uh, body uh, layout, <laughs> you can do different like sounds. Uh, and then like clapping and And then you can do like wear crowns, like a crown or this, like fun hats. This is pretty fun. But to, I wanted to share, which is really cool, some, some cool feature. Oh, let me get the hat off. So I click on it again to get it out. Um, you want to view more apps and find a YouTube app. Hold on. Uh, where is it? 
uh, I don't have. So you find YouTube app. Add this to video call. I don't know, it's taken a while for some reason. Um, anyway, okay. Accept. Continue. So it opens a YouTube. What you can do in YouTube is you add a video to playlist over here. You search for a video you want to see. For example, we're gonna type toxic truth. Or let's do 10 Americans that we just saw a presentation of in our meeting. So we'll search for this 10 Americans and this is a video. We'll click on plus sign and then we go back and then once we play this video it starts playing but I can pause it and then play it again and then people can only hear the it says speaking in the group your microphone is muted so you want to talk then you push to talk and then you talk so the video is still playing but you are pressing on the talking button while it's then they can hear you after you release the button then they cannot hear what you're saying so that is that's an awesome tool to use if you're inviting people to watch the same video and you want to discuss it at the same time uh, just push the talk button and everybody else will hear you so then also you have um you can share google docs so if you go to view more apps let's turn off youtube we'll click on youtube to turn it off we'll click on google effects to turn them off and then we'll click on add apps and we'll go and we'll search for uh you can do slide share uh where's the google effects google drive so here's the google drive you can add your google drive if you have documents on google drive um, you can share them with with people. I don't have currently, uh, but you can select and share and discuss those. So that was all recorded. So at the end of my presentation, I would want to click on End Broadcast. And I will show you how, after we end the presentation, uh, that we are still on the line with Jenna. The video will no longer be live streaming. And I will show you, go right here and show you how quickly it is uploaded. And it's available on YouTube account right now already. So that's it. We turned it off. So if we go to my YouTube channel. And then we click on video manager. Video manager so it's not in yet but it will be here in a few minutes this is a presentation that we just did today a couple of hours earlier and it was available only in a few seconds so we'll wait for it just to show you how quickly it is guys guys available um, oh I have to end the presentation hold on <laughs> I'm exiting the hangout so now it says this hangout on air is now over and a recording of the broadcast will now be uploaded to YouTube channel and it will automatically replace the live video and automatically replace the live video players that were shared. So I'm closing it. So whatever the link you shared for somebody to attend the live hangout and they missed it, then they will be able to see the recording right away. So let's see how it will appear in here and let's refresh again. It has only been one minute and now it's the video already appeared. So it is right now it is public. If you see it's public to the viewing. If I want to change it and not show to people, I would have to go in and change it the setting to unlisted or private. Unlisted 
is where people can see it if you share the link private only by invitation. So we're gonna click on unlisted and save it. And I'll show you how it actually turned out as a video. If we go to this video and enlarge it, you know, to improve quality, you need to improve quality, click on the setting and choose the highest quality available. Okay. So now but we have the other people won't be able to do it. So I wanted to show you a little um and for example if I open or for example if I wanted to share a screen um like yeah. this. I can start the screen share. So sure. Okay, I'm gonna stop the presentation. You can see the power of Google Hangouts. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Goodbye.